two dozen Taylor Swift fans who paid thousands of dollars for concert tickets they never received are now fighting to get their money back. They say a small ticket broker took their money but never delivered. As WBZ's Louisa Muller shows us, they're now hoping police and the state will get involved. How big of a Taylor Swift fan are you? So I have been a Taylor Swift fan for as long as I can remember. Avery Charland has been a Swifty since she was in diapers. For my fourth or fifth birthday party, it was like Taylor Swift themes, and then that Halloween, or like the year after, I dressed up as Taylor Swift. So when her mom, Andra, told her she was getting tickets to a Taylor Swift mega concert at Gillette Stadium. I started screaming, and I was just so excited. But those tickets never came, and now mother and daughter have bad blood with a Massachusetts Massachusetts ticket broker. It just wasn't right what he did. It started when Andra paid Matthew Calandrello, the owner of Up Close Tickets in Natick, $1,200 for four tickets in February. Here's his business profile on the Secretary of State's website. Months passed, and in April, there were still no tickets. Um, I reached back again at the end of April, and he said, Oh, the beginning of May. And then I kept reaching out to him, and he kept saying, Next week, next week, next week. The May show came and went. When that day finally came, Avery, Avery was really heartbroken. Since then, Andra has repeatedly texted Calandrello demanding a refund. Several times, he responded saying it was coming in a matter of days. In May, he wrote, quote, I have no problem giving your money back. It will just take a couple of days as I paid out everything I had on refunds. It's been weeks. No refund has come. And anytime I said, where did my money go? That's when he would stop answering. And Andra is not the only one troubled by this. The Massachusetts Attorney General is reviewing six different complaints about up close tickets. Andra says Calandrello put 32 of his customers on a group text chat right before the concert, who she says collectively paid him tens of thousands of dollars but never got their tickets. He texted that due to the nature of the show and lawsuits hitting Ticketmaster, his tickets did not come in. And quote, one thing that I will stress, no one will be out money, as I always guarantee my sales. We eventually took him off that group chat, and we have been communicating. That whole group of 32 people have been communicating ever since on how are we going to take action. And We tried to find Calandrello at his home. He wasn't there. And eventually, his attorney told us no comment by phone. Andra and wants other people to be aware right of what, what happened did. to her. And it, it wasn't just us. It was lots of people, people whose, there was their daughter's birthdays and things like that. Uh, it's just wrong. Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.